Yeah, we're really enjoying it. I think uh, you can see that in uh, the play. Um, just enjoying our, our football at the moment. Um, you know, it's, it's going well. And we've been doing well in the park, but um, there's still games to play, and we'll just be looking to finish the season strong. Is it far more enjoying it than feeling any sort of pressure to get the job finished? Well, I think there's always pressure. Um, in games you play, especially uh, a club like Rangers, there's always pressure. Um, so we're not a team that's going to rest on our laurels, you know, nothing is done yet at all. Still a lot of hard work to be done, uh, so we'll continue that hard work. Would the players like to ideally have the league wrapped up before the, the Scottish Cup semi-final? Obviously, the quicker you win a league, the better, to be honest. But, um, you know, not, like I said, nothing's done, so we just need to keep working hard and keep working hard to try and get to our aim, which is promotion. But like I said, that's not done yet, so uh, we'll keep we'll keep fighting and keep going strong until we get that. Um, get our objective. You also it missed out on the sort of running last season uh, with Hearts when they were going to the Do you think that this season that makes you a bit more determined to sort of enjoy this period and you know, collect your winner's medal at the end of it and that sort of thing? Um, no, just you know, wherever, wherever you're at and wherever you're playing your football, um, you always want to thrive and do that. Um, I'm, I'm here as a Rangers player and you know, like I said, we'll be looking to finish the season strong. Last season, when I wasn't at Hearts, I was at Sheffield United. That was no different. You're still looking to finish the season strong wherever you're at, so that's the case. How difficult was it sort of watching your, your Hearts teammates last season sort of have that last day title celebration around the park to get the trophy and all that sort of thing? No, to be honest, I was not over the moon for them. Um, obviously, they were my teammates, um, some of them for a, a long time. Um, and I was just really happy for all the boys and the coaching staff, the manager. Um, that they managed to, you know, do go there and go and win the title. Um, so to be honest, there was no feeling of frustration or stuff like that. For me, it was just you no know, over the moon for the the boys to get the job done. But you're sort of closing and having your own experience that season. That must be sort of something to look forward to. In that sense. Well, hopefully, uh, like I said, there's still hard work to be done. Uh, nothing's done yet, so um, you know, we'll keep doing the work here on the training ground until we we get uh, our objective. Looking at uh, Friday night from a player's point of view, is there? A little bit of extra incentive, given that you were like your last defeat was, was when you went to Falkirk. Yeah, that that game was um, disappointing. I think in that game, though, no, no, we were doing the right things. It just um, wasn't happening. Um, but no, we're going to every game wanting to win. Um, we've played Falkirk once since and managed managed to win. So um, we'll be going to Friday, no different, looking for the three points. Tight games, though, aren't they? I think that was that was the Billy King last minute effort. Are they? Are they the hardest team in the division to play against? They're a difficult side, um, but we've had a lot of difficult games so far this season. Um, but they do make it difficult. Um, but then that's down to us to you know find ways to win. Um, in a lot of games this season, like I said, they've, they've been tough, but we have found that way to win. So um, Friday will be no different. What do you think of the pitch then? I don't mind it. Um, you know, just need to go there. I know um, probably every player would prefer gra grass. Um, but you know, just need to deal with circumstances, and uh, you go there and just do your job. That, that defeat at Falkirk was, a, was the last game that you sort of had a wee bit of a wobble sort of between November and December. But since then, you've been remarkably consistent. What do you think has changed since since that match? Um, I think you know we spoke about um, making changes. You know when we're attacking, um, attacking in numbers and making sure we've got the defenders in numbers as well. Um, so, um, but I think nothing's really changed in matters of training, work, and stuff like that. You know, we've always had the same objectives and aims since the start of the season. We've we've worked extremely hard since day one. Um, so, like I said, maybe a few tweaks here and there, but nothing major. We saw the Scotland squad get announced last week. There's a lot of people suggesting that you should have been in that. Were you disappointed not to find your name in, in the squad? Um, I think you know you ask any player, they've got aspirations to play for the country. Uh, I'm no different, um, but. Um, I just need to keep working hard. Um, that's all you can do: keep working hard, trying to do well, and you know you never know. Do you think you're at that level? Maybe you're, you're good enough to play for Scotland. Listen, I think there's there's a lot of good players in that squad. Um, players playing in the top leagues in England. Um, so I think you know I've still got a long way to go. Um, so I'll just keep working hard, keep trying to do my best uh, when it comes to game day. And uh, like I said, you never know. What does it say about the strength of Scottish football right now that since Gordon named his, his squad there's been so many debates about players who perhaps people think should be in but haven't been in? Does it say something about the, the strength of you know play, squad players that we've got at the moment? 
Yeah, I think so. No, it's it's good um, for Scottish football. But like you say, there's been so many different opinions, and football's a game based on opinions. So um, there's no getting away from that. How flattering is it for yourself to to be linked with 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 being in the Scotland squad for you? What does it mean to you? Yeah, it's great. Um, obviously, when you see your name, you know, getting thrown about like that. Um, but you know, I don't think you can look too much into it. Like I said, it's it's people's opinion. Uh, you can only do. Um, what you can do on the pitch and in the training ground, and um, but you know, like I said, everyone's got their aspirations, and uh, you, know, you never know. Just go back to Falkirk. What do you think it has been about them this season? They've managed to, to keep up with yourselves and Hibs. It's basically a team of inexperienced guys, isn't it? A lot of young players, a lot of players in their first season. Um, no, I think, like I said, they make it really difficult for you. Um, they're a very well organised side, and they've showed that in games against us and against other teams. Um, so, no, they do make it difficult, but like I said, we concentrate on ourselves and we try and find a way to win and Friday will be no different.